Hello everybody, welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. I know my studio looks insanely empty and that's because this wide lens hides nothing. I just wanna draw today and I wanna draw for just no reason except just to draw for myself. I haven't actually drawn in maybe two weeks, so it's quite some time. I am very, very close to finishing this sketchbook. I know a bunch of you may be around and watching my channel from the sketchbook tour video that I did about seven months ago. I really want to try and finish this sketchbook and I thought, hey, what better way to fill it up than to make a video about it. I am also going to have a first impression with these two watercolor tins. I got these Prima watercolor tins. I got these because I really liked the idea of curation. I like curation in my life. I think the world needs more curation, especially because everything's kind of a free for all and I still need experts to tell me what to like. I'm sorry, I just do. I need people who are educated to tell me what is good and put things together. Curation is important. This is the Tropicals palette and this is the Pastel Dreams palette. So I had a quick little look looky loo and I saw that all of these have like cute little names as well so this one's called sea dreams this one's icy sky so you know that sort of stuff I quite like I really like the idea of just all the palettes having names there's like a whole story going on I did see that you put the little swatches up the top on there as well so you can get an idea of it all I just want to test these out see if they're any fun and just draw and then See where it goes, okay? Okay, this tin. I love how these little tins have a little slip. I mean, they often do. But I like how they have a little a hooky hook for your fingy, which for me is good because it feels like it might encourage me to go outdoors and actually draw outside every now and then. I was thinking of doing a whole series where Rel and I just catch public transport and draw people on trains. I mean, it's gonna get awkward, but I think it'll be a really cute, cause you know, there's always a couple of people who draw people on trains or just like public transport. Let me know if you guys wanna see that, cause I think it would be kind of fun to do a video like that. Now, it's funny with a lot of watercolor stuff. I'm not a watercolor expert, just wanna let you know. I don't really know that much about watercolor. I just know that I play with it and I like having a fun time, a silly goose time with it, you know? Okay, so, so what I'm gonna do first is unpackage them all and then I'm also going to do some swatches. What's this one? No, 13, this one's called Island. Oh, that's right, because this one's a tropical palette. Okay, cool. All right, that one's Island. Okay, so this one's Coconut, cute. Like, so far? Literally none of those colors are the same, but all right, okay. I mean, so far the pigment, insane. Like you barely have to wet it to get like that pigment, you know? I've got a lot of cheaper palettes that are like, you really got to wet it and activate it. Wait, that one was called Hurricane Fashion. This one is 16, it's called Parrot. Yes, cute. I like these kind of greens because they can either pull very green or very yellow. So yeah, I feel like parrot, I can see it. Hibiscus. Yeah, you know what? Someone did not use a Pantone solid coated booklet when they printed out these colors because none of these colors know each other. These little sachet things, they're not the same. But you know, pan to paper, they're looking good so far. First impressions, pigment, insane. I'm really excited to play with these. And um, the color story going on is really cute. 18, this one's called Palms. Another green, this feels like a, another phthalo-y kind of green but a little bit deeper. This one's called Petaya. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Pigment, amazing. I'm so excited to play with these now. Like the more I keep swatching, it's like, oh. I mean, but like none of, literally none of these pieces of paper match the color. Like they looked really cute all together, right? Like printed, but none of these colors so far are matching the packaging. 
which is fine, whatever. Get the packaging out of here. This is why the swatch paper exists. 20 is called Reef. Ooh, oh, that's a purple. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This purple is similar to my Matisse structure purple, which is like a dioxazine. Dioxazine? I'll Google that later. Pineapple. Cute. Ooh, a warm yellow. Nice. Oh, wow. 22 is sunset. I mean, are you kidding? Holy moly. Are you seeing this curation right now? I'm like so chuffed. Oh my God, I should have made this video like months ago. Oh, 23, ocean, a more cool blue. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I love the name of this one. This one's called Tiki. I mean, with browns, I honestly, I don't think I ever, ever used a brown ever in any of my work. So I'm not sure how to review a brown to be quite honest. And I'm a little disappointed with this palette because it's got two browns. It's like, ugh, I don't want two browns. I mean, seriously, this is the cutest thing ever. Those colors are so Z. That pink there, ooh, oh my gosh, the colors are so good. Ah, ah, tropical tick. I don't really understand why they have to have all the numbers, right? It's got numbers, it's got numbers on that, but it also has names. So like, couldn't they just write the name? It makes it kind of complicated. No? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna quickly unpack all these, swatch them, and then we're gonna get to drawing and then I'm gonna... Okay, I just realized that me swatching wasn't on screen or at server, so I apologize for that. Yep, sure is pastel. That's cute. Perfect for Easter. Oh my god, perfect timing. First impressions compared to the other palette. Will I get much use out of these? Probably. I will definitely obviously use the pinks. I find purples are always really, really difficult uh, just in paint in general, and you'll see that with makeup as well. Purple is a difficult color to make. So finding a good purple. The purple I love. And yeah, I mean, I pretty much love all of these. And I, I will use these colors. The browns, I don't know what I'm gonna use the browns for. Truly, truly. I don't know, maybe that could be a cool challenge. Like I just make a piece out of like brown colors. Ugh, that sounds like a bad idea, but I'll do it for you guys if you want. To be quite honest, I just, I don't wanna start with a blank page. I wanna finish this page that I started. You guys might recognize this swatch from a video that I did a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I'm just gonna finally start drawing. All right, finally gonna not talk anymore. Get to drawing. in with you guys. So far so good. The pigment in this paint is awesome. I mean, I've been painting with like really cheap watercolors for a long time. Yeah, I've never bought like mid-range watercolors before. Yeah, I would say they're mid-range. They're not like the fancy watercolors, but they're not like student grade watercolors, you know? And I have to say the pigment is great. The colors that I've been gravitating towards pretty much all the same colors. I've been trying to use the browns here and there in a few little bits. When I use watercolor, I use quite a lot of water. So I like this like separated look. I think that's the whole point of watercolor. It's meant to look loosey-goosey, but 
I have to see a little bit more with the darker ones to, to fully make up my mind. I like where it's heading. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this chick over here. I don't, I put glasses on her, but I just hate it. Like, I just wanna, I just wanna put a sticker on her face because I, I find her face is just really distracting. I don't really know what to do with her face. Yeah, just gonna keep playing. Uh, so far, so good though. I love these palettes and I can just see that I'm gonna use them for a lot of pieces. So it's the evening now, it's getting a little bit chillier, so I got my hoodie on. Let me break down my final thoughts on the Prima Watercolor Confections in Tropical and Pastel. So let's start off with granulation. Granulation is when watercolor has these kind of like little patterns here and it's basically the texture that watercolor creates when it dries and I love that look with watercolor. To me I think that's the whole point in watercolor. Yeah I think the granulation is great. Again I'm not a watercolor expert so I, I don't have that much knowledge in watercolor but from what I know it seems to be pretty good from what I can see. So granulation for me. Tick elasticity, which I think is when you re-wet the palette or re-wet the paint. And I have found when you remix it on the palette, on the dry area, I found that that's been pretty good and re-wet's really great. Honestly, like I said before, it just takes one swipe and the brush is loaded, ready to go. So for me, that seems pretty good, seems to work. Okay, so color. Now look, the reason why I bought these palettes in the first place was for the way that they were curated. Like like I said, I love that curation is really important and I love the mood that you can create with these two palettes. I don't know how I would feel if I just got one. So I'm a little bit wary of that. If I were to just buy one, I would feel kind of limited. Just because the colors in this, on in the tropical palette are really deep and I just would find that I really would need the pastel colors to kind of bring out lots of different tones. So I don't know if you can just get one of these and kind of get away with that, but I have seen a lot of people when they do get these palettes, they've got like a lot of palettes or they've curated their own palette with and handpicked colors that work for them. So I think you do need quite a lot of colors. To, for me, I work with a lot of colors. So if you're somebody who works with a more restricted color palette, I'm sure it could work for you. For me. I just like having a lot of options because I, as you can see, I really like playing. As I predicted, I knew I wouldn't use any of the browns. I think that they are necessary. I did try to use a little bit of the browns. You can see a little bit here in the hair of the girl. I did find that with both palettes, I used all of the colors except for 
these two here. But out of all the three browns, I think this warmer one with like some red tones, I think is my more preferred one. So I think it's funny that I didn't even go anywhere near that. I'm finding that I really needed an orange. I can just mix it, but you can get an orange, a warmy orange color, as you can see here, but I would prefer an orange instead of a brown. But honestly, that's my only complaint with these. I'm gonna use these for all my sketchbook needs from now on to be quite honest. I'm pretty addicted already to these palettes. I'm excited to get a lot more, but I love them. That's that's my final thoughts. I'm just going to use them. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have any other questions, there has to be something that I haven't mentioned. So put it all below if you have any questions. So yeah, let me know if you want me to test out these palettes out on the road, sneaking in some life drawings of people just going out and about. That could be a fun video. Let me know if that's something you guys would want to watch. And if you want to see any other art supplies reviewed, let me know as well. And I'll grab them for you guys. Do some research and test them out. That's it so far guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, seeing my first impressions. I'm that much closer to finishing the sketchbook, which we all know means a new sketchbook tour. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.